And another solution could be on the way. A team of researchers at the University of Georgia believe they found a treatment unlike any other. It is used for gout. Joe Hankey today learned why they believe it could have a big impact in the battle against COVID. The ideal COVID-19 treatment would be widely available, affordable with limited side effects and easy for doctors to administer. Well, a new study from a research team at the University of Georgia appears to show they might have found exactly that. Dr. Ralph Tripp's team at UGA have been looking closely at a drug called probenicid. It is usually used to treat gout. They have found against COVID-19 it could stop the virus from replicating in humans and ultimately end their infection. It is also efficient and easy for doctors to prescribe. It will last a pretty long time. So a single oral dose is effective. And we just want to confirm the dosage for different, different age groups now. Tripp, a professor in UGA's Department of Infectious Diseases, says the initial study on probenicid being used to battle COVID-19 was published today after peer review in scientific reports. The study showed success using the drug in hamsters, and Tripp said the drug has also been successfully used with 10 humans with mild COVID-19 symptoms. Current existing drug authors hold remdesivir. Tripp says compared to probenicid, which is taken orally, remdesivir has a key drawback. The problem with that is given IV. And you can't go to the, can't treat people with IVs easily. So the drug has been really shelved online. Tripp says probenicid also comes with minimal side effects and is well known in the medical field. Records show it was approved by the FDA more than 40 years ago. It could be used, Tripp says, with infected patients to hopefully end their infection, with someone who has been exposed to the virus to stop an infection from beginning, or to target other viruses that spread similarly to COVID. So I think for the immediate concern, we have this drug is uh, huge implication, but downstream for influenza season, RSV season, et cetera, work, can work for that as well. And Tripp says within the year, they could begin a large scale clinical trials. Right now, they are attempting to secure funding so those trials can begin.